final finish is for those in-between wash, spot cleanings, and touch-ups. We need a product that has lubricity. That way, we can safely wipe that up off the surface without marring any of the paint. Good day, everybody. Welcome to Simon's Detail in Chicago, Illinois. I am the Director of Success, Chris Ricana for Dr. Beasley's, and today, we're here to talk about final finish. So I'm here with my beloved GT350R. You know, I talk a lot to detailers and enthusiasts about all of our product line, but one question I keep on answering is, what's the deal with the final finish, or in the case if you have a matte car, matte final finish? And I wanted to kind of bring some clarity to this product. So the problem that final finish and matte final finish are solving is for those in-between wash spot cleanings and touch-ups. For example, wash the uh, Shelby yesterday. Put about 60 miles on the car since it was washed. So it now has some road grime, some dust, and some other things on it. Now what happens when you get a bird dropping? The problem here is I just don't want to go get just anything and wipe that off the surface because this is no longer a clean surface. We need a product that has lubricity. That way, when we emulsify the bird dropping or whatever the contaminant is, we can safely wipe that up off the surface without marring any of the paint. A lot of our matte customers ask about, well, what about matte paint cleanser? And this is not the situation for matte paint cleanser. This is the situation for matte final finish. Matte paint cleanser is intended to be used on a clean car. So you've washed the car, and then now you have a more stubborn contaminant, but there's no dust, there's no road grime or anything. So now here's where we can take matte paint cleanser and break down the contaminant and safely wipe it up. But here in this example, this is a car that's been driven. So I got dust, I got road grime on it, so I just can't simply wipe it up. We need that added lubricity so we do not damage the paint trying to get up that contaminant. So this is why I often suggest to both enthusiasts and to your professional detailers out there to recommend to your customers to keep final finish in the trunk in a clean container. So what I tell people is grab a clean container and put a couple microfibers and your final finish. I always stress though, a clean container, because you know, we all love our microfibers because they're so wonderful at picking up contaminants, water, whatever the case might be. But I absolutely can't stand microfibers because they pick up everything. So if you just have them laying around in the back of your truck or in the trunk of your car, they're gonna start picking up all sorts of little things and those little things can damage or mar your paint. So that is why I stress, a couple of microfibers, the final finish in a clean container. And obviously, look, I got nothing fancy here. It's a cardboard box, okay? No big deal, but I know it's clean inside. So what we're gonna do is go back around front and address that bird dropping. So what the idea here is, we take our final finish and I personally will go on the spray, you got spray or stream. I like to spray the stream. I think you're gonna to get too much overspray on it. It's gonna get all over the place, places I don't wanna get it. I wanna keep it fairly localized. We're just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna hold my towel underneath it because I, I don't want streaks. So let's just go ahead. And I'm not doing a hard spray. I'm doing like little really soft quarter sprays because again, I don't wanna get overspray all over the place. So I'm gonna let this emulsify. And again, holding my towel so that way I don't have streaks running down the front of my hood. And I'm just gonna simply, there we go. Let's give that, and I just folded that into the inside. I'm gonna emulsify that little bit right there. And whoop, all right. You can see I have it on the inside, uh, contaminants on the inside of my towel. I'm gonna go ahead and fold that onto the inside and just do a final quick little buff off. One thing to keep in mind with Final Finish, again, this product has that added lubricity so I can safely remove contaminants off the surface. This is a spot cleaner. This is, I walked out of the warehouse store after shopping for three hours, filling up all, you know, giant bales of toilet paper and paper towel and granola bars and all the other stuff I need to get for my kids. And I've walked out and found a giant dinosaur bird poop on my hood. 
I don't want it on my vinyl stripes. I don't want it on my matte car. So guess what? I don't freak out because I know I got either matte final finish or the final finish in my trunk and I can come up and address the situation. That's what this product is intended for. It's that emergency spot clean. I hope you all enjoyed this little video on the final finish, which also applies to matte final finish as well. And I will leave you all with my usual sign off. Please help me educate America folks. Do remember, if you're driving in the left lane and you're not passing anyone, it is time to move over to the right. So, left lane for passing, middle lane for cruising, right lane for entering and exiting the expressway. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate you tuning in. Do remember to smash the like button, tickle the notification bell, so that way you will be informed next time we drop a video on the Dr. Beasley's YouTube channel. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great day.